Okay, I'm here with Tom. What's the new, I think, a bit of a hand in getting this uh, G20 voice up and running? Uh, Tom, tell Hello. us your side of the story. <laughs> well, I mean, what, what amazes me about this, I mean, there's obviously, you know, do we, don't we get 50 bloggers at a global world summit, the first of its kind, but, um, and you can imagine that's quite challenging for lots of layers of bureaucracy, but for me, this is 50 people having conversations with their own networks, posting their views, doing their own analysis, uh, sharing their own ideas around a summit that is going to define the direction of uh, global change for the next few decades. It's an unbelievably dangerous and risky thing to do for governments to allow it to happen. Frankly, if half of them knew it was happening, uh, you know, it might, <laughs> might not have been allowed, but you know, the UK government was quite bold about it. Um, and I just hope that we can get those distributed networks talking about this and making it, you know, because it is relevant to people's lives and people can interpret it in their own way. So, but a lot of work's gone on behind the scenes to make this happen, isn't it? There was a fair bit of uh, <laughs> argy bargy that I'm probably not going to go on camera and talk about. But um, you, you know, ultimately the right decision was made, yeah. and uh, you know, it's incumbent on all the bloggers here to you know take this seriously and get yeah. their message out because um, you know if they make a success of it. We will just make it will just be fundamental to international events like this going forward, in my view. And um, you know, long be long let it be so. Now, there's a lot of other types of media around here who find that quite challenging as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, it's interesting to see how you know uh, um, the sort of broadcast and print media sort of interact with bloggers. Some of them really embrace it, and others are sort of still sort of in denial. I would say. Yeah. Well, when I came in, there was that sign, wasn't there? Media. Yeah. and broadcast yeah. and all over, I think it was yeah. called broadcast and written wasn't it yeah. media and you thought hmm it'd be great in a couple of years time there was, it was a set of the sign which had bloggers it, 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 <laughs> it's funny you think about what your identity is when I came in I, I got here first this morning having been to one or two events like this before I know if you, if you get here first you get through security first yeah um so I walked in this aircraft hangar of a media centre and I was literally the first in and I nearly walked over to the corner because I was absolutely certain that the blockers would end up in the furthest yeah. corner away from the action, but actually we're in the middle. Right of in the middle, so right in front of the big sign. Right in front of the big sign, yeah. <laughs> That's so, right. uh, you know, it's, uh, it's quite a test and um, it's great to meet them all because yeah. I sort of know quite a few of them because I read their blogs, but uh, to physically meet them is a good yeah, Well, you and I, I don't think we've had a proper uh, conversation yeah, before, have we? No, that's right, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going well. It's yeah, going well. Good. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. I mean, I've jumped in, jumped in, bumped into John Pina, and I'm trying. I'm stalking um, uh, uh, John Snow over there, and he, yeah. I've got I've, I've got my promo jacket on, so yeah. I stand out a bit. You yeah, see, yeah. so I'm not 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 good for stalking. But I'm, I'll get a, I'll get a Cola Life card in his hand before. To, oh, we should <laughs> have been handing out stickers to him. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Uh, no, and it's really good. And uh, I mean, you know, the real sort of the real energy is next door, where currently the sort of world leaders are sitting having a working breakfast, yeah. and I, I don't think people quite realise how. You know how critical their sort of personal relationships are because yeah, you know. know they throw the officials out of the room. They're sitting there and they just get down to business. And yeah. If they can pull it off in the sort of 90 minutes they've got, then you know great things happen. Yeah. You know. Um, so you know I'm quite anxious for for our prime minister, who obviously I'm a big fan of. That yeah. he, you know, it's a big big pressure, and hopefully he'll pull it off. But I mean. Uh, so what have you posted and, so far today? I've done a couple of posts and lots of Twitter pics. Ah, okay. uh, so I did an opener which was sort of, uh, well, the first one was saying, Where are all the blockers? I'm here on my own. Uh, <laughs> they finally got here about an hour later. But essentially saying what I'm looking for from the event. And I've just done what, an inside one, just talking about where the leaders are now, and currently in a working breakfast, although they've probably walked into a group shot. Uh, at this moment, which I, at one point I thought that the anarchists had broken into the place because there was a massive rumpus next door. Oh. And it, it was just a scrum of photographers uh, trying to get a good position in that for their picture. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, uh, yeah. Well, I uh, better let you go on with it then. Yeah, take your empty cups. Here's the man taking our empty cups. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tom. Have a good okay. day. See ya. <laughs>